This is a brief tutorial on how to combine folders so that you can have stacked folders. Um, what you have in front of you right now, this is, a, this is a video of a desktop computer. You can only combine folders on a desktop computer. You cannot do it on your iPad. However, they will show up on your iPad once you do them here. So on the first day of school, you probably created an English folder. Today in class, you created your English warm-up folder. What I want you to do is first left-click English so that we're on it, and then I want you to right-click it and rename it. What you're going to rename it is English Notes. Okay. Once you've done that, I want you to go to English Warm Up and I want you to drag it into English Notes. When you do that, it combines English Notes and English Warm Up under this notebook stack. Now you have a stack. I want you to click on Notebook Stack with your left click, then right click it, rename it, and let's rename it English. So now what you, what you have is an English binder with two tabs under it, and the two tabs are English Notes and English Warm Up. So anytime you get a new, um, a new file that you want to import, you'll go to your Information tab and link it with either English Notes or English Warm Up. Or when you start your English Warm Up, you may click in it and start a new note. Okay? What you do, once you finish this, it's very important that you go up here to sync and sync it. That's going to make sure that it shows up on your iPad. If you go on your iPad and you don't see it, what you're going to need to do is sync it on your iPad as well. Um, that'll be up in the top and you'll see a symbol that looks just like this. If you tap on it in the top right hand corner on your iPad, it will sync the notes and everything will show up that you have done. This is what your screen will look like on your iPad when you go to look for your English notebook. Once you click on it and open it, this is what the contents will look at, look like with both of your um, English notes and English warm-up folders inside the English binder.